There are so many questions related to angels, but in general, you can summarize so many of them by asking, if angels are real, then why does life hurt so much? Why did the miscarriage happen? Why did the cancer come? Why is it still here? Why was that pain inflicted? Why did God allow that damage to be done? If angels are real, then why does life hurt so much? There's a place in the Bible I'd like you to go to with me that helps us answer that question. It's in Luke chapter 22. It's the, the night before Jesus dies, and he's in a garden, a garden called Gethsemane, and it says this. It says, Jesus went out as usual to the Mount of Olives, and his disciples followed him. On reaching the place, he said to them, Pray that you will not fall into temptation. He withdrew about a stone's throw beyond them, knelt down, and prayed, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. An angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him. And being in anguish, he prayed more earnestly. And his sweat was like drops of blood falling to the ground. Now, I want you to take note of the order of events there. So Jesus was already in anguish, knowing what was going to happen. He knew the crucifixion was coming the next day. He knew his disciple Judas was going to betray him that night. He knew that his disciple Peter was going to deny him multiple times. He, he knew that was coming, and he asked that it be taken away for the same reason that any of us would. None of us like to go through any amount of pain. So he's already in anguish. And then, after he prays, it says, an angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him. And then, Jesus was in more anguish. Jesus was in more anguish. So much so that his body started physically reacting to the anxiety and started sweating like his sweatless was like drops of blood. And so the angels did not stop the anguish from happening. Or another way to say it, life doesn't hurt because there aren't angels. It hurts because this is a world that we need to be saved from. That's why life hurts. Because this is a world that we need to be saved from. And even Jesus knows that. And there in the garden, and the next day on the cross, we see the beautiful truth that God doesn't ignore our hurt. He comes to it and he embraces it. And he goes through it himself to show us that he will always use everything he has access to. to save you from this world that hurts. He will use his own blood, he will use his own life, and he will use his angels too. Hey everyone, Pastor Mike here with Time of Grace. Thank you so much for checking out our podcast and we'd love for this podcast to be a blessing to you in the days to come. So if you could share this podcast, subscribe so that every episode ends up in your feed, or just leave us a review. We would love more and more people to hear this message so that their lives can be surrounded and blessed by the grace of God. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.